you know, there's, there's two parts of hip hop that we're talking about. There's the, the commercialization of hip hop, there's the co-opted part and the commodification of hip hop that uh, is pumped into the mainstream to perpetuate the stereotypes of African-American men and women. So we, we need to look at the hegemonic forces and the structural <laughs> forces that, that, that kind of pushes that agenda. Uh, from a, an oppressed standpoint, you know, hip hop definitely speaks for and speaks to the oppressed. It gives us voice, uh, you know, in America, uh, when I was, uh, you know, in the 80s, uh, when hip hop was coming on the scene uh, and there were you, the uh, black men were being arrested at an alarming rate and still are being arrested at a very alarming rate today, uh, hip hop was that voice that spoke to that. Uh, there was a gap found in the structure and hip hop found the gap and gave voice. Uh, those structures now have uh, more or less closed those gaps down in the co-opting and the commodification of a certain small slither of hip hop is what we're really talking about. We're not talking about uh, the, the, the whole art form.